In this video, we are going to be looking at how to save a Microsoft Word document. Because the power of using a computer to create a document is the fact that you can save it and revisit it at a later date. You can go back to that document, print it again, make modifications. That's the beauty of using a computer. So we'll just run over the basics again of creating a document. I'm going to double click my application icon and it opens up Microsoft Word for me using the default template. I actually want to create a letter, so rather than typing it all, I'm going to use the inbuilt template. So that was File and New. Create a new document from a template on my computer. Choose Letters and Faxes. And there's my elegant letter that I want to use. So that's the template I'm going to create my document on. OK. So let's assume I've got my document and I've done all the modifications to it that I want to do. And I now want to save this document so that I can access it again at a later date. There are two kinds of saving. And unfortunately, to cause a little bit of confusion, the very first time we save a document, it actually brings up the second kind of saving. We always know when a document has been saved because of the title bar. The title bar tells us the name of the document and the application that we have open. So because this says document 2, that means it's the second document that's been opened by Microsoft Word and it's the default title. It hasn't yet been saved and given a name. So what we can do to save this is click on File and drop down to Save. Later on I'm going to talk about Save As. Because this is the first time we've saved this document, what actually happens when I click on Save, it will actually open up the Save As dialog box because it's the first time we've used this. But I'm going to stay with Save because I want to save the document. You can see it's brought up the Save As dialog box. We can then save the document on our computer. The default is to save it in My Documents. That's where it's going to be saved. If you don't like that position, if you want to save it somewhere else, for example on your desktop, then you can use this dialog box to navigate around. So if we want to go to the desktop, we can click there and it would now save on our desktop. If I want to go back to my documents, I can click here, and we're now back in my documents. It's outside the remit of, of this series of videos, but you can also work with all these different folder systems. So if you want to create a document and save it in your music folder, then you need to open that folder up by double clicking. If I go back to my documents, we can use that icon there, or we can use these icons here to go back to the previous folder that we had open, or up one level of folders. So I'm going to go back to my documents. We can even create folders here. There's a few icons here for you to have a work around with. Once we've decided where we want to go, and I'm just going to put this on the desktop so I can get to it easily, we then give the document a name. Now you'll usually find that the computer has already given you a name based on the first few words in your document. Or on the template that it was created from. Sometimes that does you. If not, just click inside the box and give it a name. Letter to college, for example. You may sometimes have found that documents have a .doc at the end. You never type that because the computer 
does it for you. That's what this bit is here. Save as type word document means when we click on save, the computer will add the dot doc to the end for you. You never need to type it. It's bad practice to type that. So just the name of your document and then save. We now know the document has been saved because the title bar says letter to college. It's got the new name. Now, if I go through that process again and do file save, nothing appears to happen. And that's because the computer knows the name of the document, letter to college, and where you saved it last on the desktop. So when you do file save, the computer just updates that document for you. It doesn't need to ask you any questions. So the save as dialog box doesn't appear. As a shortcut to save, we've also got this icon. So if you've been doing some typing and you want to save those modifications that you've made, we can either do File Save or simply click on the Quick Save icon and that's it, it's saved. Simple as that. You don't need to do anything else because you've already given it a name. However, quite often after you've made some changes, you want to save a version of the document. So rather than clicking Save, we do Save as. This reopens the Save As dialog box for you to save the document with a new name. In doing so, we end up with two documents. One called Letter to College that we've already saved and another document called Letter to College version 2. See, our document is now called Letter to College version 2. Or it would do if I could spell. So that's saving a document. When we've got a new document, we can do File, Save. Because it's new, it brings up the Save As dialog box. Give our document a name. Choose where it wants to go on the desktop. Click on Save. That saves the document. Once we've got a document that's open, we can do a quick save to update the original document. And we can also do that from File and Save. Or we can use File, Save As to create a brand new document by giving it a new file name or even a new location. Save and Save As.